So I want to talk about how the profession's changed over the last few years. Certainly I've been doing this now for 20 years and it's changed fundamentally. But Rich, where, how do you, what do you think the biggest change has been in the last few years? Um, I mean, just generally over the last few decades, the amount of um, change that's, been, uh, that's come to our industry, mainly from current and previous regulators, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. so much more highly regulated now, which is a great thing from a point of view of protecting the consumers yeah, yeah. and making yeah. sure they get a better outcome and, and, and less uh, bad situations arising. But that extra regulation, that extra complexity, obviously has made it um, more expensive for us to deliver advice. Yeah, sure, and sure. We're there having to balance that by trying to be as efficient as we can now yeah. with technology to make sure that we can still give the advice yeah. and keep it affordable for clients, yeah. but still cover off what we need to. So from there's a regulator's there's a, point of view. So there's a focus on efficiency now, right? Yeah, making yeah. sure that as a business we we're commercial because yeah. actually our, our clients rely on long-term yeah. relationships with us, yeah. but we do that efficiently, yeah. making sure that our clients are delivered with. with the right advice. So how do you do that? How do you do yeah. that specifically? Uh, uh, for, for all of us, I think really, it's, I think that that change in the regulation and um, and moving away from you know the commission-based products that have hidden charges, which yeah. I know we've, we've covered in previous episodes, which yeah, yeah, yeah. is covered um, into more of uh, financial life planning, where we we're understanding the, really what makes the client tick. Um, yeah. And put the client at the centre of everything we do, which is I know what we've done previously. Yeah. But, um, I think as a profession, it, it's about un really understanding the client. You know, there's, there's soft factors that, as, as the regulator yeah. would say. Yeah. Um, and, and that puts the client in control um, of everything we do, and it makes planning a lot more accurate. Yeah. You know, we we're, we're um, uh, and the client, I said, the client controls that. So. We're doing a lot of that at the front end because then it may not lead to a product yeah. anyway. So yeah, yeah. therefore, then that doesn't pass the costs on as well. So, um, but that that. So how do you do that? How do you do yeah. that specifically? Uh, uh, for, for all of us, I think really, it's, I think that that change in the regulation and um, and moving away from you know commission-based products that have hidden charges, which yeah. I know we've, we've covered in previous episodes, which yeah, is yeah. covered um, into more of. Uh, financial life planning where we, we're understanding the, really what makes the client tick um, yeah. and putting the client at the centre of everything we do which is I know what we've done previously yeah, but yeah. Um, I think as a profession it, it's about un really understanding the client you know there's, there's soft factors that as, as the regulator yeah. would say yeah. um, and, and that puts the client in control um, of everything we do and it makes planning a lot more accurate yeah. you know we, we're um, uh, and the client, I said, the client controls that. So we're doing a lot of that at the front end because then it may not lead to a product yeah. anyway. So yeah, yeah, yeah. therefore, then that doesn't pass the costs on as well. So. Hi, and thanks for watching that Spell Money Talks video. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe to our channel, click there.